In this video, we are going to discuss how to fix this other uh, fatal message um, you may have received when you're performing optimization. I get a user fatal message 300. It says that data error in field underline. So here, if I read a little bit more, there is an issue with the DESOBJ entry. Here it's underlining the specific piece that's uh, problematic. So it's indicating that something between the min and the 8 million is the issue. Further uh, below, I see that it says illegal name for bulk data entry DESOBJ. So let's go ahead and see if we can find this in our original design model. This is our original design model. If I carefully look at this design model, I, this is where I have my DesoBJ command. If I look at the F06 file again, it says a legal name for bulk data entry. The DesoBJ command is actually a case control command. It doesn't belong with these other bulk data entries. Uh, the tip off was this equal sign. You can see a lot of these entries no longer have these uh, uh, operators between the fields. Um, so again, this is a case control command that has to be relocated. Let's go ahead and uh, relocate this uh, case control command. In here, let me open up the directory, open up this BDF file, and move this to the right. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the string and relocate it to the case control section on the right. And let's save both files and rerun the optimization. And in a moment, I'll describe why um, I bumped into this issue initially. Let me just start the optimization. Okay, so. In my previous videos, I have a procedure for converting a BDF file to a solution 200 BDF file. Um, in this procedure, there's a step that says copy over the case code control commands, that's OBJ and that's sub. Prior to this, I forgot to move over the that's OBJ command. I accidentally left that in my original a design model. Hence, we got the error message of um, illegal name for bulk data entry. After following my original procedure of relocating the DESOBJ command from the design model to the case control on the right, I should see that the error message is no longer there. And let's go ahead and take a look at where we're at with the optimization. And we'll scroll all the way to the bottom. And you should open the F06 file after the optimization is complete. And so we have the successful message run terminated due to hard convergence at an optimum. And if you were to search for this user fatal message uh, 307, you will also find that the message is no longer there too. So that's how you fix that issue. If you still have problems with this issue, definitely feel free to send me an email uh, at using the email address I showed at the beginning of the video. I check that email often, so I'll definitely get back to you. And then it will also help me a lot faster if you include a copy of your F06 file so I can personally take a look at that and uh, help you understand or even help myself understand what exactly is going on with your optimization. With that, that's the end of the video, and thank you for watching.